I recently purchased a couple of LTO Flash only ROMs available for purchase from Electronite. They have a number of ROMs available to purchase, including Steamroller, Hover Bover, Miner 2049er, TNT Cowboy, Ninja Odyssey, and most recently, Anthropomorphic Force. These ROMs are $20 each and include a free digital copy of the Lost Caves of Craws. This is a great way to support the developers, who in this case have said they may not produce a physical copy of some of their latest games until they have made enough money to justify it. Anyhow, I picked up Miner 2049er and Anthropomorphic Force, and in the email I received from Electronite, they recommended upgrading to the latest firmware version to ensure compatibility with all of their games. Well, up to this point, I had not upgraded the software or firmware on the cartridge, so I thought this would be a good time to do that and try to document the process, at least for the Windows version of the software. At this point, I started up the LTO Flash software and plugged in the cartridge. This way, on the LTO Flash tab, you can see the factory version and the current version before the upgrade is ran. Current version from the factory is 2386. And after waiting a few moments, the software detects you have an update. Before running the update, unplug the cartridge. It's a good idea. Then I went over here to the website and downloaded the Windows version of the software. And all I did was hit save, and then I ran the software directly from the download. It's also a good idea to close out the LTO Flash software before running the update. Although it does give you the option to close during the installation. If you're installing on a Windows 10 machine, you have to select Run Anyway, and then the software installation will begin. And I just took the default options. Now that the software is updated, it's time to plug back in your LTO flash cartridge. At this point, the software recognizes that your cartridge ROM is out of date and offers you the option of upgrading the ROM automatically to the most recent version, which in this case is 4416. And then this happens really quickly. Boom, it's already done. Then it asks you, do you want to read the release notes? You can check that out really quick. And then connecting back to the LTO Flash software on the LTO Flash tab, you'll notice the update version and current version is now listed as the current version, 4416. Now if for some reason you need to do the update manually, there is this option here to update the firmware where you can select the update manually. I'll drop a link below in the description where you might be able to find a few ROMs. Now switching to the Intellivision, if you want to check out the config, you press 1 and, and you can go into the device information screen to confirm the factory firmware version right there. It's now the upgrade version 4416. And just for fun, I thought I'd show a little bit of the intro screen from Anthropomorphic Force. Thanks for watching.